July 5th, 2022. I'm at home now in Houston, Texas. I've just gotten back three weeks ago from my exchange year in Costa Rica. And I've been taking this time to just try and comprehend what's happened. Because part of me can't even comprehend that I left in the first place. It just all seems so unreal. It was pretty hard at first being back. I would randomly just start crying without being able to pinpoint exactly why. I I was just in shock. In a way, I felt kind of disappointed about how nothing had changed. When I was away, I'd often imagine what it would be like to return home. It looked the same from the outside. I saw my family and my friends. They were all happy and healthy. I was eating all my favorite foods again and I saw my city. But the way I thought I would feel coming back was different. I felt so underwhelmed. To make up for this, I would try to fill up my days with new activities. I remember when I was in Costa Rica, there were so many things I had missed. I missed this level of productivity I had here. In fact, while I was away, I made a long list of things that I would do when I returned home, and I actually stuck to them. However, I found myself doing them all for the wrong reasons. I was trying all these new things to distract myself from reflecting and trying to chase the feeling of fulfillment I had felt while I was away. No matter what I did here, how many new things I tried, it felt like nothing I did really fulfilled me. I think it's because when I was in Costa Rica, my goal was so clear. It was to just make it through the end of the year. So even if I had a really bad day, I still finished it a little bit closer to my goal. When I came back, I lost the constant adrenaline I had, and I felt numb being back. About a week ago, I was in the grocery store, and the sun just looked so beautiful, and everyone was picking out their produce and helping each other out. It was the first time I had felt truly happy since I got back. It reminded me I didn't need to be immediately chasing the next best thing. You can also find happiness in taking in what's going on around you. I was just pressuring myself to keep busy because I thought it would make me feel good when I really should have stopped distracting myself and taken a second to reflect on everything. It was way easier than I had expected to just brush over my whole year. I also felt numb because of how accessible everything here is. I had a conversation with my neighbor about how accessible the US can be when it comes to material things and I totally agree. It was definitely a shock to come from living with just my basic needs to 20 different versions of excess. It made me realize a strong takeaway from my year abroad would be the classic material things don't equate to happiness. I had heard so many times before. I had already agreed with this before I left, but now I really believe it to be true. Not to say you can't buy things you enjoy, but that they won't compare to the feeling of hearing a song that reminds you of a memory or somebody. I find it so valuable. I often find myself now trying to put myself into old memories but it all just feels like a really great dream. It's so hard to comprehend and I'm still figuring it all out. The hardest part for me was realizing that I only had this experience once. As I'm speaking about this, I can't even call myself an exchange student anymore. I will never be in the same moments that I was in and that saddens me. I will never be surrounded by my exchange student family at such a young age in a foreign country making the best memories of my life again. It's a reminder that nothing lasts forever, but it also means nothing lasts forever. I'll meet my exchange friends again and I know I'll find my place wherever I go. I've found that working on things I actually find a value in, like making videos or planning trips for the future, really give me a sense of purpose and a will to become better. And that's all I know for now, but I'll continue to figure it out and I think I'll make some more videos digging deeper into what I got out of this year abroad. So stay tuned if you like and um, thank you very much for watching.